So we can go ahead and again use a selector for hover div. And we want to say uh, dot show, first of all, we want to show this, this div, or in fact, first we want to set the text for this div. So by using text, we're placing text in between here. And then therefore that's gonna display correctly. So the text is obviously hover text because we've already gained this unique attribute that we've given it. Uh, then we want to go ahead and show it. And what this will do is it will just modify this display property uh, to actually display it. So what we're doing is on mouse over, we're grabbing the hover text attribute which we gave uh, in inside the link here. Uh, then what we go ahead to do is, let's just bring this down, is set the text inside of our hover div and then show it and then bind or change the CSS properties of the hover div uh, to uh, the current mouse position. So in essence, it's quite a simple uh, idea and quite easy to produce something like this. However, we are gonna have a few problems and we're gonna take a look at them just now. So now you can see that when I hover over, um, I have uh, this box display. Now the first problem you notice is this is a bit jumpy uh, and the reason for this is uh, let's go ahead and refresh again so I'm going to hover over from this side and it works up until a point where I have to move my mouse back again uh, and now you can see that you know it's we just have we just have our text on on uh, well we just have our cursor on this div so it really at the moment is useless because the user is going to be fiddling around with this and it's, it doesn't look very nice and it doesn't work very well so we need to make a couple of small adjustments to um, allow this to work properly. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add uh, a value of 10 onto the current Y position. So this will actually move the div uh, 10 pixels um, in, the, uh, in, the, in the top downwards and the left across. So now that I've made this small change by just adding 10 onto each of these uh, properties, uh, now when I hover over, you can see that the uh, it doesn't affect it. It doesn't. The mouse is, you know, it's the mouse is over this, but it's not affecting uh, it when I pull it back. But we also have this problem as when we leave the element, the div isn't sh isn't hidden. Remember, we uh, automatically have this hidden, but we don't have an event to handle when the mouse comes off of the element to actually hide it. So we want to go ahead and actually hide this now. So what we can do is onto the end of our selector for our hover class, remember this starts here and ends with this uh, bracket just here, we can go ahead and assign another uh, event handler onto this, and that is mouse out. So inside mouse out, we want to do exactly the same thing as we do and create a function and just bring this down. However, the only thing we need to write inside of here is to hide the hover div. So hover div we use a selector to select the hover div and we just say hide so now what's going to happen is when the mouse goes over this element we perform what we've already seen to be working and when it comes away we just hide the div now if the mouse was to go back onto the mat in onto this element it would just repeat the process so it's almost like a, a cycle so now what's going to happen is we have our working element however when we pull away it disappears so it doesn't, uh, you know, remain on the page. So now we have uh, the effect that we've been looking for. Uh, as we hover over, the div isn't interfering with the cursor, uh, and when we move away, the div element disappears again. So this is all well and good, but we want to know that we can go ahead and use it on any other element. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this link in paragraph tags, and I'm gonna come down and I'm going to create a new paragraph with an image inside of it. So this is essentially the steps that we would go through if we wanted to apply this uh, effect to another element. Now we've got our hover class div up there. There's no need to duplicate this for any reason because uh, it's dynamic. It will change depending on which element. So the image source is tartan.jpg. That's an image just inside of my, uh, my root directory. Uh, notice this still obviously works. And we want to apply the same effect to this image. So we want to apply the hover class to this image, so hover. And then we also want to uh, apply this hover text attribute that we created uh, and explained earlier. So I'm gonna say a lovely tartan image or pattern. 
So now that we've done this, we've just simply created an image and the only two things we've done is applied this class to it, which is picked up here. And we've then gone and applied this hover text, which is picked up here. Remember using this, so we're using a unique um, attribute for, the particular, for a particular element. So let's go ahead and preview this. Our uh, our link works as as it would. Now, when we hover over our image, we have the same effect with different text. Now, let me just explain quickly the process that again, uh, if you're not too sure on this, the process that this goes through. So now that we've hovered over, we've shown the div, we've assigned it to the particular cursor, which will always happen because jQuery handles this event for us, and we've applied the text Google a powerful search engine to the div on our page here. Now when we hover away, that particular div is hidden. The, now the text will still remain assigned to that div. However, when we hover over the image, we assign the new description to that div, and then we show that div as well, as well as uh, you know repeating the process for assigning it to the coordinates our mount, that our, ma our mouse are at, is at. So, uh, we're essentially done. Um, if, Like I said at the start of the tutorial, if you wanted to go ahead and apply this to your own website, all you would have to do is go ahead and include this hovertext.js file on any page uh, that you'd want to use it or in a global JavaScript file that you might be using for your website. Obviously you need the use of jQuery uh, and all you need to uh, place on your page is this div element here. But then again you could go ahead and probably include it on another page or something. So that was uh, an extremely simple way of creating a, a hover over description uh, using jQuery, uh, but we've tailored it to make sure that it works properly and looks okay. And most importantly, we've made it so we can use it with lots of different elements.